Dave Milwaukee is not going to let go, not at all. Here he comes on the outside by about two-thirds of a rooster tail. The old boy Alberto goes across the line one more time around now for the two leaders. 143 miles an hour to 140 for Milwaukee on that one, and this is it. I tell you what, this is one heck of a boat race. Both of them have got to find smooth water. They're searching for smooth water to keep that propeller hooked up. It's going to be very close, my friends. Very, very close. Peters and May get wide to the outside to get out of the way as they come. This time, Dave is making his move. This is his last opportunity. He lost the Columbia Cup in this corner. He's going to try to win the Albert Lee Cup in this upper corner on the last time around. And now, here we have Steve David out in the lead, and it does not look like there's going to be sufficient time for the star to catch up. He's trying, but it's going to be the old boy, Alberto, wins the Albert Lee Cup FC Barrow. Holy smokes, what a race that was. Well, I have great admiration for both drivers. Uh, you know, that second heat was everything. That gave Steve David that inside lane. That's what won him the race. Listen to these speeds in the final lap of the race. It was the Alberto at 144.311 and the Spirit of Cutter 144.459. It was just an eyelash between them. What a battle. What a final heat of the Alfred Lee Cup. Absolutely. Everybody was getting loose, but I got to tell you, the Spirit of Cutter was really getting loose. Yeah. I mean, David had it out on the ragged edge trying to get to Alberto. That was a great driving job by Dave Milwaukee. He did everything he could do. He really, really pushed that boat. There's nothing more he could do. He swung everything he had at him. Uh, it just from the outside, uh, he couldn't do it. I think he made one mistake when he tried to pinch him in there tight. I think it was the first corner of the second lap. It didn't work for him. He lost a bunch of momentum. I think if he would have maintained his momentum through that corner, just ignored Steve, he probably would have won this race. Okay.